What's going on, guys? Platinum Cards in the house, and today I am back with my Utopia deck. And before, if you've seen my older Utopia videos, you know that the style of deck was a little bit different than what I have now. So I, let me go through and show you the little upgrades that I've made. So firstly, now I have three copies of Astro Karibo. Uh, I put in one copy of Maxi. I'll probably be putting in probably another one, at least take out uh, ZW Asura Strike for one more copy of Maxi. I'm running two tin goldfish. Uh, those will probably be swapped out for two copies of Utopic Automatopia. I'm running three copies of Zubabacho Gaga Coat. I'm running three copies of Dodo Dwarf Gogo -Go Glove. I'm running three copies of ZS Arm Sage. Three copies of ZS Ascended Sage. I'm running one Astral Topia. For some reason, like if you look here, I can't generate it. So otherwise, I would be running two. I have one ZW Lightning Blade, one ZW Tornado Bringer, uh, one ZW Pegasus, uh, one Rageki. One pot of Everest, one copy of Automata Pyra, and I probably should be running at least one more of these. Um, I'm running two copies of Rank Up Magic Zexal Force, uh, one copy, sorry, two copy of Zexal Construction, one copy of Hyper Rank Up Magic Force, which by the way, this is probably the biggest addition to start playing around and with uh, Hyper Rank Up Magic Force. It, it opens so much for this deck. Uh, I'm running three copies of Xyz Change Tactics, uh, one double or nothing, obviously Utopia Double, you still gotta have that. I'm running two copies of Xyz Import, um, one Wabaku and then one Infinite Permanence. I will probably switch out this Wabaku for second Infinite Permanence once I get the UR for it. And for the extra deck, you can run number 100 in this deck on top of Utopia Double. So that's insane that you have two different ways to OTK. Plus I'm running two Utopias, probably gonna switch that to three once I get a third one. Um, Three copies of, uh, sorry, one copy of ZS Utopic Sage, one ZW Leo Arms that I've never actually used, one copy of number C39, one cop two copies of Ultimate Dragonic Utopia Ray, one copy of ZW Dragonic Hellbird, one copy of Ultimate Re Leo Utopia Ray, one copy of number 38, one copy of number 97, one copy of number 99, and one copy of number 99. Uh, technically, this is Utopic Dragon, this is Utopia Dragon. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these duels. So, for our first duel of the day, I draw a copy of Maxi, ZS Ascended Sage, ZW Lightning Blade, Armano Pyra, which I'm going to use right away, and as well as rank up Magic Zexal Force. I have to use uh, Armano Pyra, and then I have to shuffle in my monster to my deck in order to uh, add the specific monster to my hand. I use Ascended Sage, and then I'm going to go into both of those. Then I'm going to go into Utopic Sage. Utopic Sage is going to allow me to detach both materials to summon ZS Arm Sage as well. So then I'm going to go into a regular Utopia. And now that that's on the field, uh, Utopia's effect is going to activate. Since uh, I used both of these two as material, both of their various effects will activate, which technically counts as Utopia's effect. So I'm going to add up Hyper Rank Up Force, and then I'm going to add a ZW Tornado Bringer. So I'm pretty stacked, I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to uh, use my Hyper Rank Up, oh sorry, my Rank Up on my other card to summon Ultimate Dragonic Utopia Ray, and I'm going to attach ZW Tornado Bringer on it, and when I'm targeting it, I can use its effect again, so I can literally search one from my deck to attach to it. So Tornado Bringer has a different effect, but this is what I'm more concerned with. Pegasus allows me to negate monster effects, and plus my monster gains uh, attack points based on these cards' attack. And then now I go to number 99. Number 99's effect is going to activate. Detach two materials, go right into number 97. And then my... A uh, hyper rank up from the grave is going to allow me to attach it to number 97. Then I'm going to detach it again in order to go into number 38. So what do I have on the field? Four very powerful monsters. Uh, and I have a monster effect negate and I have a spell effect negate. So I think I'm pretty stacked. On top of that, I have Maxi in my hand. So immediately I'm going to negate his first thing. Looks like he's going to be using a Black Rose Dragon deck, which isn't... I think this might be the first time I've been against a, against a Black Rose Dragon deck on Master Duel at least. So then he goes into Rose Gruel and immediately I'm going to Maxi... Um, then he's going to Monster Reborn my own monster. So most of mine are level 4. This is a level 3 tuner, so it's safe to say that he's going to go into Black Lord's Dragon try to nuke my field. However, I do have Ultimate Dragonic Utopia Ray equipped with ZW Pegasus, so that's going to allow me to negate his thing. Then he's going to go into Black Garden, and he realizes I don't think he can do that much, so he just goes and quits. All right, next duel of the day. So I got both Arm Sage and Ascended Sage, and I happen to be going first again, but you most of the time do not want double or nothing in your hand. That is not good. Um, so then I'm going to Xyz right into number 39 Utopia, and then both of the effects are going to pop off again. That allows me to search and add two different cards to my hand. One of them is going to be a Rank Up spell, which in this case I will be adding Hyper hyper Rank Up in this situation, but I can also search ZW Lightning Blade. So now that both of them are in my hand, I can then use my Rank Up Magic spell because I'm going first. I would use Hyper Rank Up if I'm going second just to try to put an end to this match. 
but I am going to be going first, so I need to play a little bit more defensively. So I'm just going to summon this and equip my Lightning Blade to it. And this thing's effect is going to pop off as well. That allows me to search and equip ZW Pegasus. So because of Lightning Blade, my ZW cards can't be destroyed, and then this makes it so I can negate a monster effect as well as uh, both of these things make my monster gain attack. So, and now he's using Amazing Time Ticket. So, I'm assuming he's using an Amazement deck. And then he goes for Infinite Permanence, which doesn't really matter because this thing's effects are now pretty much going to be coming from the equipped cards. But I guess he does manage to negate the card in the middle because it's a spell card. So, I'm, I'm going to have to play around that. But since he targeted my card, I can search for and attach ZW Tornado Bringer to it. And then he plays his field spell. He's going to use his effect and then uses a trap card. Target one amazement monster you control or one... Yep, and then he's going to destroy my card, which is freaking annoying. And then he sets two, because that's amazements are basically a, uh, a trap deck. And now I can detach one and use its effect to negate both of his face-up monsters. And now I can special summon Astro Kribo, make it level four, normal summon this, and then immediately go into Utopia. And now that Utopia is on the field, I'm immediately going to hyper rank up, that's for sure. And now that I'm hyper ranking up, I'm going to go into number 99. Number 99 is on the field, so I can use this effect Detach 2. I always leave uh, Astro Kribo on it. That's for a very good reason, because its effect uh, allows it. And now he tries to use Called by the Grave, but I'm using a spell effect in the graveyard, so he has no choice supposed to banish a monster because Called by the Grave is monster exclusive. So now I go ahead and attack. And. The thing with this is, once you use this thing's effect, only this one can attack directly. So, even if I had used this to go into, like, number 100, I wouldn't have been able to... I would have been locked out, actually. I wouldn't have been able to attack him directly at all. Because that would have allowed only that monster to attack, and this allows only this to attack directly. But, he also has no response. So, I pick up another dub. Duel number three. So, I draw 10 Goldfish, Dododo, Gogoglorf, ZS, Ascended Sage, a rank up, and Zexal Construction. So I should be pretty good to go. Now this guy's going to be using Toons. So he's going to be using Toon Bookmark, or uh, his Toon Searcher to add Toon Bookmark to his hand. Then Toon Bookmark is going to let him add that card to his hand. He then plays his uh, Toon Kingdom, and now that Toon Bookmark's on the graveyard, he's not going to be able to, um, or at least he can save it once from being destroyed. And now using Toon Page Flip to search for and summon Toon Dark Magician. Toon Dark Magician's effect is going to activate. That allows, he discarded one to add a Toon Spell a Trap. He's going to be adding... Uh, two to, oh, that trap card, which I, I can tell what he's going to be using now. So I can play around that. So I'm going to special summon Ascended Sage, and he's immediately going to use his briefcase to shuffle it back into the deck. Then I'm going to use Zexal Construction, and then that's what I thought. His Toon Terror is going to negate that. So both of his negates are essentially are out of the way. So now I can focus on putting it into his shenanigans. So I'm going to go into 10 Goldfish. That allows me to special summon Dodo Do Go Go Gorf. And then I'm going to go into Utopia Double. Utopia Double is then going to detach a material to add double or nothing, and then I can go immediately into Utopia. Now, Utopia's attack is going to be doubled, and then I can equip a ZW Tornado Bringer to it, then I can attack his monster, detach a material, negate its own attack, and then play double or nothing, allowing myself to attack again. And this thing has so much attack at this point that I can just go ahead and OTK. Right, for the last duel, Zubaba Chugaga Code and Astrotopia, a ZW Lightning Blade, an Anamonapyra, and a Wabuku. Now this guy is going to be using uh, Sacred Beasts. So Sacred Beasts are annoying because they all have 4,000 attack, plus the spells and traps make them so that they can't be targeted and they can negate a bunch of other effects and whatnot. That's annoying. But for me, he only sets them on defense mode and then plays the trap card. So I'm immediately going to go for Anamonapyra just because I'm trying to see if he has an Ash Blossom or anything. doesn't seem like he does. So I should be good to go. I'm going to use 10 Goldfish. That allows me to special summon Utopic Automatopia. Automatopia allows me to special summon the both of these. Then immediately I can Xyz into Utopic Sage. <coughs> Utopic Sage is going to detach a material in order to special summon Ascended Sage. Then it can, since I control an Xyz, I can special summon Astrotopia. Then I'm going to uh, Xyz again into Utopia. And since I use ZS Ascended Sage, I can add my Hyper Rank up to my hand. And then I'm going to Xyz the other two into Utopia Double. I, I went into Utopia Double just because I know a lot of these monsters have like very high attacks, so I need something that's strong enough. So Utopia Double going into Utopia is going... Or, sorry, uh, Utopia Double going into Ultimate Dragonic Utopia Ray, plus it being equipped with uh, ZW Lightning Blade, and then using its own effect to equip another monster, which is usually the same one because it works so well. 
ZW Pegasus, that gives it 7,200, plus I can immediately go into number 99. Number 99's effect is going to pop off as well. And he just didn't even let me finish because uh, he already knows. He already knows what's good. Well, guys, thank you for sitting through and watching my Utopia Duel video. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. And oh my goodness, look at the time. It's time to do, do, do.